How you doing? Good, I hope. I got one more book to talk about. It's called The Department of Mad Scientists by Michael Belfiore. How DARPA is remaking our world from the internet to artificial limbs. And yes, there's one thing I've been determining in my life. In just about every group, there are good ones and bad ones. Most concerning official ones. I suggest you read this book. And I'll read you the flap. <clears throat> the first ever inside look at DARPA, the Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency, the maverick and controversial group whose futuristic work has had amazing civilian and military applications from the internet to GPS to driverless cars. America's greatest idea factory isn't Bell Labs, Silicon Valley, or MIT's Media Lab. <clears throat> it's the secretive Pentagon-led agency known as DARPA, D-A-R-P-A. Founded by Eisenhower in response to Sputnik and the Soviet space program, DARPA mixes military officers with sneaker-wearing scientists, seeking paradigm-shifting ideas in varied fields, from energy, robotics, and rockets to people-less operating rooms, driverless cars, and planes that can fly halfway around the world in just hours. DARPA gave, gave birth to the Internet. GPS and mind-controlled robotic arms. Its geniuses define future technology for the military and the rest of us. Could they be the ones working for immortality for the rich? My question. Michael B. Belfiore was given given unprecedented access to write this first ever popular account of DARPA. Visiting research sites across the country, he watched scientists in action and talked to the creative, fearlessly ambitious visionaries working for and with DARPA. Much of DARPA's work is classified and this book is full of material that has barely been reported in the general media. In fact, DARPA estimates that only 2% of Americans know much of anything about the agency. This fascinating read demonstrates that DARPA isn't so much frightening as is, it is inspiring. It is our future. Now there's... <clears throat> this is could be the secretive agency making so much money off the taxpayers, but they're working for the rich. I wouldn't be a bit surprised. And I'm I'm really uh, impressed with everything he's got in here. And I suggest you read about it to find out about our secretive agency in the government as well. And Michael Belfiore, thumbs up to you. And I'm going to add you, your, your site online at www.michaelbelfiore.com and about Michael <clears throat> he is the author of Rocketeers is a writer focused on breakthrough technologies poised to change our world for the better he writes for popular science popular mechanics air and space and other media outlets as well as for emerging emerging technology companies so I suggest you read it, and it'll be interesting. Have a great day or night, wherever you are. Later.